William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com. Our recruit and reload feature continues. We're going to be wrapping it up this week. Uh, but before we do that, we, of course, have to talk about the Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Bill Self's team is accustomed to losing players to the NBA. That's what happens when you recruit at the level that the Jayhawks do. However, uh, this year was a little bit different, of course, with their two-star freshman Declaring for the NBA draft, but obviously under very different circumstances. Cliff Alexander, his eligibility was going to be in question all summer. And of course, Kelly Oubre developing as the year went on and ultimately deciding to leave. But what the Jayhawks lose in the freshmen, they return in veterans. Of course, Wayne Selden Jr. making the decision to come back. Perry Ellis making the decision to come back. And none other than Frank Mason III, uh, not necessarily considered an NBA prospect. He's going to come back to Lawrence for another season. So when you have those three veterans, dynamic talents uh, at three different spots, of course, you have point guard leadership. You have an off-the-ball scorer who needs to find consistency, but the talent is there. And then you have a power forward who can score from all three levels that Perry Ellis can do. Really affects your team and the outlook that you have in hopes of continuing the Jayhawks' dominance in the Big 12 Conference. Uh, but then you mix that with a couple freshmen that are coming in. Uh, namely, I want to talk about Carlton Bragg. Uh, Carlton Bragg is a five-star power forward, ranked in the top 20 uh, in the Rivals.com rankings. Uh, a dynamic athlete and definitely a guy who can come in give them energy. He's pairing up with a front court that really has a ton of different uh, personalities, tons of different skill sets. When you have Perry Ellis, you're talking about back to the basket and face-up score. Jamari Trailer, back to the basket, rebounder, shot blocker. Landon Lucas, developing as the year went on a year ago, uh, can certainly both finish at the rim and defend uh, multiple spots on the interior. Bragg will fit in nicely to that. The Jayhawks are in contention for a number of other transfers and recruits in the 2015 class, so in terms of their newcomers, uh, that picture I don't think is complete quite yet. Uh, but then you talk about... Uh, Bench contributors for Kansas has always been an interesting situation with the backlog of talent that they have. Somebody like Brennan Green who can come off the bench and knock down shots. Devontae Graham at the backup point guard spot is dynamic. Uh, definitely look for some more consistency out of him as a sophomore. I like the Jayhawks next year. I'm not exactly sure where they fit in to the national conversation quite yet. I think that'll be decided as more top recruits decide where they're headed next year. Uh, but certainly in the Big 12, they look like a good bet to be right there at the end and maybe even extend that historic Big 12 title streak yet another season.